Alright yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial video. And in today's video everybody, we're going to be looking at vertical flying machines in Minecraft Bedrock. So this is Xbox One, PS4, Windows 10 edition. These have automatic return stations. If you want to make like an elevator out of them, I wouldn't really recommend doing that. But if you want to, you can make them push blocks, you can make them do whatever. These are the two designs we're going to be looking at today. Let's start with the one on the left over here. Alright, so I have this little 3x6 area right here to build along because I believe when this thing done it's about a 3x6 area. So it's kind of a big flying machine, but of course we're on bedrock, so that's how it is. <laughs> Alright, so what you want to do is you want to start out with this is going to be the front of the flying machine right here. This will be like the front of it, I guess. It'll be where there's not observers in your way. The first thing you want to do is place a sticky piston just like that. Then you want to place a regular piston just like that next to that sticky piston. You want to place two slime, blo two slime blocks on the face of those pistons, and then two slime blocks off to the side like this. Now what I like to do is I like to place some usually obsidian blocks but basically unmovable blocks so in minecraft bedrock it's obsidian or you can place like 12 blocks but i would just place some obsidian blocks just like that so it doesn't fly away on you then what i like to do is dig a little hole right here come down here and then you want to look at your other pistons and where there is a sticky piston you want to place a regular piston just like this and then you have to place that slime block back and over here we have a regular piston so we want to place a sticky piston above it just like that Okay, so now we're going to actually add our observers. Now remember, make sure you have this obsidian up here so this machine doesn't fly away in here because it could potentially if you don't have that. So what you want to do is place an observer on this side right here, facing into this slime block right there. Then what you want to do is come over here to this top right here and place an observer going into that slime block just like that. Now you should have this with the observers both on the same side, this side right here, right where I put them. So this is the front of it still, this is where we started. Then what you want to do is you want to come around to the back and you want to place sticky pistons right here one block away so they can grab these observers, just like this. You want to place one right there, and then you want to come across and place one right there as well. And then what you want to do is come behind these sticky pistons and actually link them up with blocks, just like that. Place some redstone down, and there you go, you literally already have the entire flying machine done. <laughs> Okay, so now what I'd like to do is actually make kind of the return station. So I usually just take obsidian and go up however many blocks you want this machine to go. So I'm just going to put it right here, not too high for this demonstration. Basically, you just want to place one obsidian block so it stops the machine. You might as well just play it safe and place two, honestly. Just place two obsidian blocks just like that. Come down here. It could be kind of hard to do this in survival, but you know, you got to stop the machine because it will take off here if you don't. Anyways, you'll have this basic concept right here. And what you want to do is just literally come around here and power this redstone with these with these uh, pistons right here and then depower it. And then you'll notice that the machine will actually take off right after you do that. You don't want to power it too quick and depower it. You just want to do it nice and still like I did right there. And you can see the machine will fly up until it hits the subsidian right here. Okay, so now we've reached the top of our flight. This is the peak. This is where you want to send it back down. And it's really simple. You want to take regular pistons just like this so they're not sticky pistons so these observers don't stick to it. And all you want to do is place them right here next to this observer right there so it can push it. Then you want to come over here to this one right here and you want to do the exact same thing. Just place a regular piston just like that. And then just like the pistons down below, you just want to simply link them up by doing this redstone circuit right here. That's about it. And then of course, same thing. You could just power it with this redstone block or whatever. And there you go. It'll use, you could shut these off. Make sure you put those back to their regular position and it'll send it back just like that. So it goes all the way down to the bottom. We can come down here, we can power this. And there you go, you've literally got a flying machine made already in Minecraft Bedrock. Not as easy as Java, obviously, but it works. Okay, so now we're actually gonna work on an automatic return system so that when the machine gets up here, it'll automatically send it back down by itself. So what you wanna do is come around to the backside here. You wanna place a block of iron like that or whatever block you have. You wanna break this redstone, make sure you don't activate that redstone. And you just wanna simply place an observer just like that. You want to have that reserver run into a redstone repeater just like this. And then just like that, you can simply link up these other pistons like you had them before. And that's about it. That's the entire redstone right there. That'll automatically return it for you. You can break this iron block, and you should be good. So now if we come down here and we power this, it'll go up. And when it reaches the top, it'll automatically send itself back down. We love automation. Innovation. That's redstone. <laughs> and there it goes. It'll now send itself back down very quickly. If you want to slow that down, you can add more repeaters. But that's pretty good right there. Okay, so now we want to work on an automatic return station for the bottom. So just like the top, it'll automatically go up and down, up and down by itself. So just like the top, what you want to do is come down to this bottom block right here, and you want to place an observer right there, running into a repeater set to four ticks. Make sure that's four ticks, it has to be, and run that into a block. Simply put redstone over it, and then just connect these pistons up like you did earlier. You can do it like this, just to make it look a little cleaner. And there you go, that's literally the entire return system, so now that'll work. So if you go back up to the top, you power this right there, wherever, you can simply put that uh, repeater back like that to four ticks and then there you go everything will work perfectly fine you have an automatic flying machine in both directions it'll handle itself it'll carry its own weight and there you go okay so next we're gonna actually get into how if you want to toggle off the automatic mode and make it manual so you have to like push a button or something to make it go so what you want to do is you want to break this block right here and I mean this is probably not the cleanest way to do this but you want to place like a, a place a piston right there if you want and then place the block on there and if you want to turn off the automatic mode you can have like a lever run into this piston right here then that'll power that so this uh, repeater will no longer power everything and then what you want to do is just simply connect the redstone around the back like this and if you do that we might as well 
square it off like this because we're humans we like that but but i just realized to turn on automatic mode you want to come over here to this block right here and you want to place you want to place a piece of redstone dust just like that for automatic mode to come back on so if we lower that down automatic mode will be turned on if we do this if we do it manually it'll go all the way up to the top and then it'll actually come back down and automate itself and it'll it'll go back up here we have the automatic mode on because our piston is retracted so you see it lands it gives an output and then there you go it'll automatically go up but if we want to turn off the system we can simply do that and flick that lever it'll come all the way back down but then of course it's on manual mode so it won't go back up unless we give it a manual input so anyways for an input guys if you want to make it like an elevator you could just like place a redstone like i'm not doing this but if you could you could place a button right there you just have to hook up the redstone basically to this this line of redstone right here anything going into this line of redstone make sure it's not really quick pulse make sure it's like a at least a four tick so make sure if you're running into it at least use a four tick repeater running into it just like this so if you want to do that I mean, you can use a button right over here. Once again, just make sure the redstone is running into this line, not too quickly, otherwise it could break. At least four ticks. And then, of course, just flip that button and it'll automatically manually go. And there you go. Again, it's on manual mode, but if we want it to automatically go up or down, we could do that. Okay, and then really quick, we're going to show how to turn the top section into manual mode and automatic mode. So what you want to do is go back and place your block right here. You can come around and you can actually place a sticky piston just like this beneath the block. Place the block back. Just like that and then you can place the redstone going around the sides just like this all the way around and then again if you want to have it on manual mode you can you can place a lever that'll turn that piston on it reaches the top and then we have to give an input right there to send it back just like that and then if you want to put it back in a manual mode again just flip the lever put the block down and now it'll automatically and it's going to send it back practice with it mess around with it a little bit for yourself you'll get better with it flying machines really awesome let's get into the second design over there Okay, so I designed the second one to be a lot more vertical and not so wide as that one, so let's get into how to build it. So what you want to do is you want to place two sticky pistons going up. This is going to be the front of it, we'll say, and then you want to place two slime blocks just like that. Two slime blocks on the face of both those sticky pistons. Remember, these both have to be sticky pistons. And then you want to place two sticky pistons just like that. Then what you want to do is, again, place your obsidian right here. Make sure this thing doesn't go flying away. Place one obsidian or two pieces of obsidian block right there. And then what you want to do is you want to make sure that you come to the side and you want to place an observer on the top block right here on that uh, slime block right there. And then you want to come to the top block right here and also place a, an observer into the top slime block right there. I'm capable of doing that. There we go. Just like that. And then similar to the other design, we're going to use sticky pistons to, of course, put everything in place. So you want to come and break this block right underneath this slime block. Break it so it's one away and do it like that. And then you want to place another sticky piston right here on the side of that piston right there. And then all you have to do is just link those sticky pistons up so you can come around to the back, you can place it like this, and just go simply a little bit like that, and place redstone just like that through the machine, and that should do it. And then of course you just want to power this slowly, just like this, you can do it with a button I guess. And then I'll place the observers down, and I had the obsidian there so it didn't work. Okay, anyway, so you have this, make sure you break your obsidian here for this test flight, and then of course go up and place your station where you want it to be, so mine's right there, we'll say we want it to fly that high, you can place one obsidian block. Break all this, and then you already have the flying machine done. Remember, these are all sticky pistons. These observers are one block away. If you depower that slowly, as you can see, the machine will take off. It's a lot more vertical than the other one, but it's not very, it's not like very wide in that way. It's only one block wide in one direction, a one by four. And there you go. Okay, so our observer block swapper, once you get up to the top here, what you want to do is place one sticky piston right here to grab this one, make sure it's facing down into that one. And then you want to come up here and place a sticky piston facing down. That'll grab this one right here right there just like that make sure these are one block away so you can actually grab them then of course come around to the back and again you can simply link them up with redstone so link them up with redstone by simply doing this you could do that and then there you go that's the redstone done with that of course as always you can just use a stone button or wooden button or whatever press that and that'll power it down and it will now go down instead of up Okay, so now we're going to make it so that we can toggle on and off the automatic and manual mode on the bottom. So this one's a little bit more complex. Again, this design is kind of, I wouldn't say it's better than the other one. But what you want to do is take an observer output from this bottom piston, just like that. Forget that repeater I just placed. Take an observer and place it right there. And then you want to put a repeater set to full ticks, just like that. Make sure it's all the way back. Then what you want to do is come down here, place a sticky piston right there, and then have it run into a block, just like that. Then what you want to do is you can come right here. Actually, no, you want to come on the bottom of it and place a lever just like that so you can push that block up and down. So the block that you're pushing up is the one that's in front of the repeater, just like that. Then what you want to do is you want to take the redstone and con connect it around the back like this. Just like that. Then what you want to do is you want to break this block right there and place a piece of redstone dust right there. And then what you want to do is you want to break this block right here, pl place redstone dust right there, and then actually have that run, or actually place a repeater right here. It set that to three ticks, just like that. I think you can get away with running two, but we'll place it to another one, just like that. 
And then you want to come to this side over here and place a repeater also set to one tick away from the max over here. I, again, I think you can get away with two like that, but we might as well place another one just to be safe. And there you go, that's your entire automatic return station. So once again, if this block in the middle is down right here, it'll be automated. So what we'll have to do is bring it down just like that using that system. And then we'll have to manually put it away once right here. So again, do this slowly so it doesn't go too quick. Once it comes back down, it'll be all automatic. Again, I feel like this design right here I, I came up with very quickly could be very much improved. But I just came up with that off, off kind of off the top of my head. It'll get automatically picked back up and it'll send back up completely automatic with that uh, device that we just added. And again, if you want it to not be automatic, just come down here and place this, push that block up like that. And now it'll have to be manual where again, you can place the button input from wherever you want. So yeah, it's in manual mode, it comes down like that, and now it won't take off because it can't power because that block is not there. So it'll have to be in manual mode if you want to manually do it. Just place a lever like wherever you want. Again, just power this redstone, any of this redstone back here, just power it kind of slowly, four ticks at least, remember, not too quickly, right there, into that redstone if you want to do it manually, and then just flip the lever on and off. This could be a button, this could be really whatever redstone signal you want. And then there you go, you have that. Okay, so now for the automatic return station on the top. So what you want to do is go to this sticky piston right here. I know we kind of have to remodel everything here, but you want to place a sticky piston, you want to place a repeater or observer coming out of that sticky piston with a block down here into a repeater set to full ticks, just like that. Make sure it's full again. Then what you want to do is have that run into a block with, of course, a sticky piston below it. So we'll do it like this, just like that. And then, of course, if you want to put it manual mode, you can push the block up like that. But for now, we'll just put, keep it in automatic, so we'll keep it down. And then you want to run, one, run redstone all the way around the back like that and then into this block, just like that. And then you wanna place repeater set to three ticks again on both these blocks like that. And then simply connect the rest up with redstone. Again, it's in automatic mode right now. And yeah, we'll send it back down quick. So again, you have to manually send it down. And then you'll see if this block is down, it should power itself and that'll be automatic return station. So now it'll go up and down all by itself. So that new thing that we just put in automatically activates. And there we go, we now have the manual automatic feature put in. This thing will go up and down forever, as long as you want. Reaches the bottom goes up. There we go. Okay, so now to turn this thing into an elevator. So I like to just come to the front right here and then just place two slime blocks just like that. And then place whatever block you want right there and right there. That's that. And then I just like to place some support beams of whatever block you want. I'll just turn and make it all out of iron because I'm all about detail here. Just like this on both sides. And you can't really place blocks anywhere else because you can't push more than 12 blocks so it'll break. That's pretty much all you can do for your elevator. It's very not, it doesn't look good at all. It's very not well hidden. You could obviously build around it a ways out. But it's kind of difficult because slime blocks right here, you don't want to have anything attached to slime blocks, otherwise it'll break. But that's kind of your elevator right there. And then if you want to place a button, you can simply come right here from where you stand. You can place a button right here. You can place two buttons, whatever you want to do. We'll just place two buttons. And then you can come down here, take an output from beneath those blocks, just like that. And then just simply run that around to the back. That's not very clean at all. If you want to clean that up, you can yourself. So yeah, again, place this redstone here. Again, just put your own input into all this stuff back here and make sure it actually gets there. So this actually isn't strong enough to get all the way around. So just place a repeater right there so it's strong enough to get in there. And then what you want to do is come around here, push this button, and there you go. You now have your elevator that you can activate from right here. Again, I don't like these types of elevators. It's really slow, but hey. It'll work, you have an elevator. Okay, so once you have your uh, elevator at the top, you can actually like work on it a little bit. You can make the roof however tall you want, whatever. You can add these two blocks right here. It won't hurt nothing if you add those. Just place like that, and then you can place the place where you step out. You can place your buttons as well. And then just do the same thing that we did on the other side. So you can take your outputs from down here. You can run them around the side. Again, not the cleanest thing ever. You can find your own way to put an output in. This is just the way I'll show quickly, because it, it, it'll work. You run it up here. I guess you can just run it back here if you want, whatever works. Wow, I am the best at placing blocks. Run it just like that, and then just simply take an output from those buttons, whichever one you want to push, and just run it through here. Make sure you're not powering any of these pistons or anything on the way by whenever you're building yours, and make sure you just power this main source of redstone right there. You can do it right there. And there you go, everybody. That's your elevator second level. So now if you want to, uh, after a long day of work on whatever story of your building, you run through here. Oops. You run through here and you want to use your very, very clean looking elevator. You can just run through here. Again, this is kind of more of just a vertical piston extender video, not so much of like an elevator design. And there you go. You can now go down, put glass, I guess, if you want. And uh, yeah, it's perfect. Beautiful elevator. Thank you all so much for watching. That is two vertical flying machine designs in Minecraft. I like the first one a lot better. Kind of an elevator design as well. Thank you all so much for watching. It's been Smitty. Until the next one, peace out, everybody, and have a great rest of your day. Appreciate you watching. Peace out, y'all.